what is up everybody this is game number three of the show match between 3d b and anna tan it's on the pup we get, might see some new build some new action it's the abbasid dynasty versus the Rus, and we all know what these sibs have been famous for but will we see some changes? Will we see some updates now? You know, one thing I will say is I think uh, the Roost with the Kremlin might be an opportunity because I really do with this short distance from TCs that they are from each other, you can throw those units into the wood line and really disrupt your opponent's wood line, which in turn disrupts fishing eco. Both of these players opting for the wood start, which means the fishing start. Also going for shoreline fish, fastest in the game, you know, that fast, fast food gathering. So both players being very efficient with this, got their docks down quick and just sending bills over to the fish from 3DB, as well as have has his first fishing boat pop out. Anatan doesn't quite have enough wood yet as the Roos fishing ships they work twice as fast they cost twice as much they don't have to come drop off at home so even uh, even better for you know long resource drop offs like some of these deep water fish on this map 3db pretty solid dock location for him whereas if he were on the opposite side for anatan would be a lot more difficult to get a, a more efficient drop off in fishing rate <clears throat> With the Abbasid, we we, uh, we all know that they have some changes as well. Culture wing, very, very interesting to go up with. Same thing with military wing, trade wing. Wouldn't see the trade, wouldn't expect the trade wing on this one. Um, as well as the, uh, what I say? Culture, military, trade, economic. Uh, uh, fresh foodstuffs able to be made out of the town center now. So would definitely expect that to be picked on up. Save some long-term food. But food really isn't going to be the concern with deep sea fish it's going to be all about long term being able to secure this deep sea fish which the roost you can spread out your fish if you end up losing a lot of that water but 3db you know him he spread out you know a bunch of these military military ships and spread all around um but you know will we see these ships transition into galleys into their attack ships into demo ships and see a big water war with a little tiny bit of an investment into the military the main thing i'm thinking you drop the kremlin for extra wood gathering first off this wood line is massive you're going to go ahead and give yourself a bore extra gold as well so really really sick play here by anatan has the gold after this to be able to age up and he might just go for a really quick age up after that nope he's going back to the wood line so wants to be able to keep producing these fishing ships ships keep pumping these fishing ships out that was just going the uh the thing to give him enough bounty to age up as he did not get enough Thanks for the follow, Couch Commander. House the Wisdom influence slowly being spread, and that will end up including the dock. Right now, the uh, influence does not extend until the building is completely finished, and the culture wing is the choice. Map is one of the new ones it's continental. So one of the newer maps with the PUP has water in the circle around it culture wing going up minute and 32 so with the culture wing we have obviously the preservation of knowledge tech everyone knows about but also i believe it uh yeah there we go reduces the cost of all technologies by 20 percent and believe that includes aging up but no age up from anatand yet he has the resources and there's the kremlin exactly what i was talking about exactly what i wanted not only is the kremlin he's dropping a hunting cabin next to this boar if he wants to grab up some of this food and this kremlin so with the kremlin you can already see you levy militia every three minutes would expect anatan to do this immediately they are alive for 90 seconds and they die at the end of the 90 seconds just flat out die there's no like health decay over time like a lot of the other games have had that i've heard um and the kremlin you know about halfway done villagers 
build that hunting cabin 11 gold per minute not really the most efficient gold but think about if he drops a little hunting cabin in this um little spot in the wood lines or any of these other little like you know you can see the wood lines with these holes inside them if you were able to drop a hunting cabin inside significant amount of bounty um that or not bounty significant amount of gold over time you're able to get in but that's wood investment and right now wood is going into fishing ships Ooh. Be thought about dropping that wheelbarrow. He queued it up, then canceled it. He's actually dropping an outpost at home. Why? He knows this militia is going to be coming after his base. Immediately gets that preservation and knowledge tech. Eight fishing ships out, has the second dock out. A Bassid can drop docks for cheaper. And I wouldn't even be surprised to see B try to fish on the eastern side as well. And a tanned four fishing boats out. We all know. Those are double, so he technically has eight. And the militia have been levied. Oh, there they are. They're at the base. They get circled. I was wondering. They get circled by the Vils, and immediately they get a kill. This is payoff. These are meant to die. Who cares if there's town center timing? This is tons and tons of idle time. This is tons of damage. This is wood that isn't being gathered right now. Don't really know why Anatan's falling back. He should just continue to take as much Vils as possible. I guess he's just gonna try and continue to try to idle these out for as long as possible. Almost gets another kill, but now three more minutes until, well, as I say, three more minutes. It's uh, already had a, a nice old 80 seconds. Those militia only had 10 seconds left of their life until they can be levied again. But we notice 3DB is down three villagers from that. Might not think it's too much, but fishing is going to get more inefficient for him. So uh, unless he continues to build more docks, which he is doing, and the first Bagla is coming across. But Anatan has an attack ship and has a galley ready for the Bogla. And both are playing more just defensive on the sea as for now. Anatan spots out the, the Bogla, drops back with his attack ship, wants to trade Springled Springled, doesn't want the galley to take damage from the uh, Springled ship on the other side as it takes extra damage. Next attack ship is already popped out and Another Bogla on its way, and not only one, it, there is a Dao as well. Oh, the forward dot spotted out by the scout has to be canceled. Takes damage from the military ships. Those military ships so easily able to transition, shoot an extra sprinkle at that vill, and, uh, you know, a little too low health to be able to push up and have that aggressive dock down. P's wood line getting thinner and thinner doesn't have that close safer wood line like Anatan has already secured for himself and a fishing uh, it looks like a Bogla trade for one of the military ships from Anatan and it's two uh, two versus one over here Springles go ahead and transition their focus into the Dow, and this might be a little Dow pickup for Anatan good pickup for Anatan but demo ships coming in has to fall back, has to watch an eight, it needs to split. Oh, and it's a double kill. Not only that, the Springle Chip is able to get some extra damage on the galley. Another attack ship was gonna move forward, but Anatan needs to play a little bit more defensively. Has enough to be able to levy the militia again, has not done it yet, but needs to do this as soon as possible because think about how much damage this could be. 22 villagers on the wood line that would be going idle from the militia being levied. He has the, uh, the food to do it in the bank. Instead, he's dropping a stable. I think he's fought, completely forgotten about the levy militia after the first time. Three minute cooldown. But again, both of these players fall on back. Explosive doubt. This so. This is kind of like this stealth foresty area. Um, in the water so make sure to utilize this effectively hide out those demos Anatan, don't throw away your attack ships like this spots out the two takes some extra damage and needs to fall back there's three boglas at this point but not only three boglas there is a demo <gasps> and not only that there's docks on the other side there's docks all over the place there's vills going everywhere and the sprinkled ships take out that extra um, 
Springle should a ship on the opposite side. Knight immediately scouted out and barracks being dropped. Knight moves around. I just levy militia. Next knight coming across. Needs to be able to find the wood line. 3DB is going to have to invest wood into hopefully protecting this wood line potentially. But the big scary thing for Anatan now, it looks like his fishing is about to be heavily, heavily aggressed on, but he doesn't have too much fishing. He's not too invested into it. And, uh, you know, four fishing boats is technically eight. Just needs to be able to keep these safe and protected. Knight circling around. Charge damage onto a spear. Not the shot you want to do, and I'm really surprised he hadn't uh, done anything about trying to be aggressive. Oh, there's the levy militia, but why are you chasing a scout with it? Send it directly to Eco. Knight trades, takes out a spearman, sees that the wood line has been fully, fully denied, but there's stuff going on all over the map. There is a springled ship that gets taken out by a Dow. The knight just slowly getting taken out by the main town center. Militia has been levied. They run on top and idle out some gold, but again, they haven't found actual successful damage, and the successful damage is 24 bills on the wood. Anatan's losing all of his fishing now. Oh, almost able to get the Ville on the top side, but just not quite 3DB able to escape. Knight's not really doing any damage. Levy and that militia didn't quite do what we needed. Again, the wood line has not been spotted, and that is the big problem. Fully has been denied off of water. Those Boglas have uh, done their job, circled around. There's one sprinkled ship left. Looks like a wooden fortress going down in, in the midst of, uh, I, you know, who knows. And triple quad bear, triple bears coming down. 3DB knows he could just full transition into military. Now that he has secured the water, he's going to utilize that extra fishing eco to go in to his military and immediately starts pushing forward with these spears. And Anatan does not have an answer yet. <gasps> Pulls back the low hell spears. Eesh. And villagers pulled, circling the spears. Knights have all been able to stay alive due to the micro of Anatan, but there are spears and there are going to mass up faster and faster and faster as more barracks have been dropped. Finally see a couple knights get picked off and villagers have to start running away. Archers trying to help and be masked up, but the big problem for Anatan, he does not have fishing and 3DB has these other docks. He can just full invest the deep sea fish in the long term if he wants. It was looking good for Anatan for a while, but just did a full U-turn. And the big reason why is just he hasn't found success. The big... S but grabbing up this stone, Anatan might be looking to transition into Castle Age and a keep drop um, as he wants to start taking over the military mass. If 3DB just dropped that many barracks... As I say that, he's starting to drop quad stables as well and will be able to mass more than Anatan as 3db's military number a little deceiving as he has quite a bit of an investment in military ships but Anatan looks like he finally spotted the big damage there and has an attack ship in the midst of the fishing somehow circled it all the way around. I think that was the one attack ship on the northern side that we saw. Archers moving forward, sniping down the one, I was going to say the one spearman, but instead they're just deciding to pick off Vils. Uh, militia train with spears on the other side, and this is just all a distraction. Villagers circling up that knight, doing a ton of damage to that knight. Horseman pops out at that perfect time as he had that in queue to deal with these archers, and the archers just doing as much damage as they possibly can. Looks like textiles came through for 3DB, so not quite taking as much damage as there could have been from this archer push.
And just continuing to get more and more damage down, though. And the uh, all of a sudden, the overall eco count, even with the fishing, is favoring Anatan by one single unit. But he needs to mass up a good quantity of, uh, of archers to be more effective. Because remember, he actually is still damaging some of this water eco and the water eco not fully as effective as it was at the start more vills being idled more pressure coming on uh spears trying to run around get on top of those knights but just haven't quite been able to stabilize haven't quite been able to do so and there it is exactly what i mentioned high trade house to an immediate keep drop and 3db is going to struggle on the wood He's got tons of gold in the bank, not enough food in the bank. He's massing up tons and tons of these spears, tons and tons of these horsemen, about to wipe out the unit mass from Anatan. But Anatan's about to finish up his keep. Doesn't have a ton more production buildings as far as any barracks to transition to men at arms because there isn't really a huge answer other than maybe some camel archers. And the keep has finished. Villagers immediately have to turn, run on away. 3DB fully denied off of his wood line. Wooden fortress pushing forward. There's already wooden fortresses on the other wood lines. Look at how ahead Anatan was. He needs to go ahead and get these upgrades on through, though. Doesn't have enough resources. Oh, we're on 3DB. And K can go ahead and get these resources through if he desires and needs to get them through sooner than later. Horseman that he has deciding to just run for the base of Anatan as well with the spears Maybe try to do some uh, extra eco damage and return some fire and look at this This is going to be perfect once Anatan spots it on out, but needs to deal with the uh, the extra Eco damage that he is being harassed at at home transition into some horse archers So he's going to try to use that uh, Mobility to his advantage, but you need a bigger mass to be able to deal with the horseman first couple more of these horse archers pop out slowly kiting down some more of the spearmen not as many left some extra return fire damage from the Kremlin so getting uh we're seeing the advantages of it upgrades coming through sprinkled upgrade coming through villager hops inside the other wooden fortress but not yet he wants to build another one he wants to full deny still hasn't gotten another upgrade through yet on the other outpost Horse archers took a ton of damage though as those horsemen and spears are just being so effective. <gasps> we just heard it. Springled upgrade is finished. Villagers starting to be denied on the eastern side wood line. Other outpost hasn't finished up yet. Horsemen looking like they're pushing forward might go to try to burn down the wood lines. There's so much just going on everywhere. The middle mass looks like it is finally about to be cleared up as the keep is starting to fire down. There's one single spearman left and the four horsemen are still on the backside. But Anatan has the Kremlin, has an additional wooden fortress. Not only is it the horsemen that push forward to deny this wooden fortress, it has the spearmen there as well. Springled uh, just doing as much damage as possible. Next wooden fortress has been finished and the next one has been upgraded. Horse archers arrive. There's a camel rider in the mix though as well. Horse archers may, might just run, jump inside of the wooden fortress. And another additional wooden fortress going down. Additional wooden fortress being dropped. There's just so much of a melee mass. 